So today we're going to cover a two dribble four step drive, which is really common footwork in basketball that we see when players are driving to the ring. And they're going to come to a quick stop and get into a jump shot. Maybe a change of direction. Today we're going to do it into a jump shot. So from the three point line here, if I catch the ball and maybe I get into a jab or I get into a split catch, but once I'm in this split position, we're going to have four steps along with my two dribbles. So I'm going to go to the right here. So my footwork is going to be left, right, left, right. That stop is called a speed stop. So that's I take my dribble and then I take one more step and come to a stop right where I am without hopping forward. A lot of players will take that last dribble and then jump forward, which defeats the purpose of trying to stop quickly here because we're trying to let our defender clear past us. So if we jump forward into that space, we're really taking away our own advantage. Now with the timing of the pickup on that, I want to work on trying to pick up the ball only as that last foot hits the ground. So if I take my dribble step here on my left foot, whether I'm a left or right-handed shooter, I still want the timing to be the same here, where I pick up the dribble at the same time as that last foot hitting the floor. Maybe a split second before, but trying to get him really as close as possible. What that does, it keeps my options open. Because as soon as I picked up the dribble, if I pick it up a lot earlier, let's say, and then I go one, two, I've lost the ability to head fake, I've lost the ability to keep the dribble alive. Whereas if I haven't picked up the ball yet, and I'm here, one, two, and I see that defender's lifted uh, or hasn't overrun me, I've still got my bounce alive, so I can turn it and go to the right. You can push across and go to the left. You've got a lot of options still available. Whereas the earlier you pick up the ball, the more time you're giving the defender to recover and the less options that you've got. So I really want to focus on that timing. Dribble step here, picking up the ball as the last foot hits the ground, and then either getting into your right-hand shot, or if you're a left-handed shooter in this case, scooping the ball across to our shooting hand just like that. So if I tackle with a little bit of pace right now, Shoulders are low, and we've got that one, two, straight into the shot. 